Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. Available now on the Apple App Store and the Android Play Store, get all the latest news, fixtures, videos, scores, stats, and key dates for your favorite football teams from around the globe. It's free to download, and of course, the link is in the description. If you love football, if you love the game, download the app today. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We return today for more Master League action. We'll have two matches for you guys to feast your eyes on. So we'll take on Real Betis and then Manchester City in that final Champions League match. Yeah, it's been a little bit lackluster lately. You know, I don't know. I spoke about the game itself in the last episode about how uh, there is a lot of scripting and stuff going on with the AI. I really would like Konami to focus on that uh, for Master League next year or this year with PES 2020. So we'll see if they can... I don't know. I've just felt like the AI have been better in other years, as in they're not so recycled. You know, you see the same goals over and over again by them. But, you know, we've already been there and we've already spoken about that. Anyway, let's have a look at today. So I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to try a 3-5-2, primarily because that's what they're going to be playing. And let's give this a bit of a shot and see how we get on. So we're going to go for... Um, well, let's put, uh, let's see here. Pace-wise, we've got 70, 78. Uh, so let's put Militao there. So we'll put Vallejo, Nacho, and Militao in the middle because I want to rest Varane for the City game. Uh, I'm going to start Marcos Lorente with Tony Crows in the middle. Uh, Ziyech just ahead of him. I'm going to start Sun on the left, Hazard on the right. And if you're wondering why I'm not playing Hazard on the right, look. Okay, you put him on the left, you put him on the right. It's the same stats. But you put Sun on the left, he's up to an 84. He's also got a pretty good left foot, Sun. Uh, he's very good on the left and the right, so I think that will help. And then we're going to go for Diaz and Junior up top. Let's give this a bash. Let's see how we get on. I did play with a 3-5-2 with Manchester United, and I did quite enjoy it. So, yeah, I'm going to give that a go, see how that goes. Do I want to put... Actually, I think Isco's up for this, so maybe I want to play him... Uh, well, we'll put him on the bench if needed. So I think that should be good. So let's look at Real Batiste. Jesse up top. Sergio Canales behind him. He's going to be a tricky player. I'm going to probably man mark him uh, and, and see how we get on. So there we go. There's the lineup. Let's quickly have a look at Real Batiste lying in fifth place. Seven wins, four draws, and three defeats. But yeah, we've got a lot of big games to come later. After we do the FIFA Club World Cup, then we do have uh, three tricky matches with Federico Madrid, Sevilla, uh, and then Barcelona. And then we have the opening day of the transfer window. Um, and we are going to need to make a couple of transfers, I feel. That's for sure. And now uh, we're back at the Bernabeu. Bernabeu. Uh, I believe we'll just give Rabatiste the green kit. What's the other one? Okay, that's quite interesting. Let's just give him this one. Looks quite nice. A little bit of kind of cool design on there. All right. Hope you guys do enjoy it. Please do subscribe. Hit the like button as always because you guys are legends. And uh, let's do this. So back at the Bernabeu. It's Real Madrid take on Real Betis in La Liga. Real Madrid have struggled lately. I mean, they've only picked up a point from their last two games. A lot of changes have been made formation-wise, tactically-wise, player-wise. And Luigi knows with Man City just around the corner. I need a little bit of momentum. I need to get back to, to winning matches. So the referee gets us underway and we are live and kicking for today's match. Real Madrid opting for a 3-5-2 today. It's a different formation. And we'll see how it plays out as Tony Crows. Well, I tell you what, he's walked this one in. Well, he nearly has done. Quite sure defensively what Real Batiste were playing at here. You don't let a player like Tony Crows just pick the ball up and run at you. The goalie did enough. Well, it's been a very entertaining start for Real Madrid. Only played six minutes. They get plenty of players forward here. Son. Looking for Ziek. Scored a fantastic goal in the last game. Solo individual brilliance. He played Militao. To Vallejo, who's playing at the heart of the uh, defence today. Well, Real Batista is sitting very, very deep. It's a, it's a dangerous game to play. It's going to be Diaz, and it's 1-0. And he's back. Match fit, ready to do the business. Mariano 
cool, calm as you like. Well, I'm not quite sure what Real Betis are playing at the moment. Giving Real Madrid far too much room. 1 0. Playing around with it, Lorente. And some movement, trying to find Mariano. That's a great looking ball, and this is the problem the Real Madrid have. It's only taken them one chance for Albatista. So they were nearly already in on goal. Should have done better with the final chance. And here's Tony Crows. Feeds it out wide. It's going to be Hazard. That's a good save. Could have, should have been two. Suddenly this game has kicked into an extra gear. Flicked over the top. Well played, Ziyech. Sun gets it, and he finds Hazard with a lot of space and time. But that was a little bit careless by him. Fed out wide, chance for Teo. Didn't want to hit it, and there's a little bit of confusion. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What on earth happened there? Well, Celso with an easy finish in the end. But it's just a massive, massive mix-up. Courtois didn't need to come out and commit to this. It's just about to be cleared. And it's just a shambles at the back. So it's not Courtois, it's Navas. Fed out wide. Looking for that give and go there. Well played Hazard of all players, back paddling. Calmly done. Tony Crows. Lorente. Now Real Madrid can uh, possibly go the other way. Ziyech got caught there. Mariano looking ball here to Sun. As Real Madrid have got the pace out wide. And Sun's going to take this forward. Just going to lay it across the face. The goalie stuck out a leg. And Real Batiste get away with it. Tony Crows. Want some options here done well, Ziyech skips past his man he's got players out wide he's also got Eden Hazard, oh brilliant play, there it is he's back on the score sheet, back in business and Real Madrid back ahead well it all stemmed from great play by Tony Crows and then Ziyech and once he picks this up, the traditional cut in fake, a little toe poke finish Junior. Oh, he try to feed it out wide. The movement's good. Just that final pass, and even Real Batiste playing some sloppy stuff now. Tony Kroos. Junior. Good feet by him. Florente finds Militao. Son. Nice bit of acceleration. Delivers it in. Looking for Mariano. There's a volley, and it was a. A good effort by Tony Crows. Joel Robles in goal today. It's been quite busy. So we come into the final stages of the first half. It's a good challenge. Ramajid have got the pace now. Mariano. But he does need a little bit of movement. Junior was just waiting for him. Mariano has continued to run. That's a great header. But it is a corner. Tony Crows. To absolutely fire one in. And it's another Ramajay corner. Probably the final chance of the half, depending on what exactly happens here. Hazard is on the edge of the box. Gets it back again! And there's his second. Ramajay's third. Cranking it up in style. Well, it'll stem from the free kick. Oh, sorry, the, uh, the corner. Came back out to the Belgian international, give and go, and then fires it into the bottom corner. Well, that will give him a nice little cushion. Four goals in the opening half as Real Madrid lead by three goals to one. But Mariano, very good in the air. That's what they do miss when he's not playing. An aerial threat is always a... A big plus to have. Well played, Nacho. Oh, careless though. 
You can see what he was trying to do. He's trying to find Hazard. And suddenly now Real Madrid have problems. Vallejo got there. He thought the first half was lively. Second half is just as lively. Sun. Good ball to Ziyech. Back to Sun. He's going to hit it. Oh, and it was a good, solid save in the end. The Celso. It's a good idea, but Leon doesn't have much support. Overlapping run. Nacho comes across well. Hazard flicks it on. Here is Ziyech. And look how many Ravager players are forward. Well, if you don't want to close him down, he might as well go himself. And Ravatis at the moment are, are struggling to keep pace with how many players Real Madrid have coming forward. And it's pulling defenders all over the shop. And I tell you what, the goalie's busy. Big long clearance. Militao trying to stick a foot on. Joaquin. Nicely worked, but no one wanted to close him down there, and uh, the chance from Jesse. Well, Real Madrid are making three changes. Isco, Pavon, and Felix coming on. Here is Lorente. That's a loose pass by the young boy. He's disappointed with that. Luigi not too happy either. Better by Real Batiste, but they've given it away. Lorente picks it up. Here is Isco. He's just come on. He's got the freshest legs out of everyone. Does well. Lays it out wide. Good save by the keeper. Felix back to Tony Crows and he swings it round to Pavon. Haven't seen too much of him, but here is a chance for him. Could he get his first goal? No, he can't. It has been all Real Madrid today. Well, uh, Luigi will be happy with the response back to winning ways, especially, of course, just before that Manchester City game as well. well he's still going here, Isco. It's a cheeky little run by him. Oh, he's done brilliantly well. He'll even get the strike away. And how many saves the goal he's made today. I can't even count now. We've run out of, of how many chances he's had. Are we going to get another one here? Lovely little dink over the top. Finally, Joe Robles picks it up. And that surely will be the full-time whistle. It is. All the goals happening in the first 45 minutes. Real Madrid comfortably winning 3-1. So today it was the opposite, wasn't it? Domination, 13 attempts to two. I don't know if it was because Rabatis were playing the same formation that we decided to play. And uh, we just sort of flooded players forward. Maybe we should give it a shot again. I don't know. But Eden Hazard, man of the match. So match day 15. Uh, Atletico Madrid did draw. So that's good. They've dropped some points there. Uh, Ibar Ooh. lost to Vallecano. So they finally win another game. Real Sociedad drew... Uh, Alaves winning four goals to two. Barcelona lost as well. Away from home, 4-2. That's lovely to see. Espanyol beating uh, Valladolid. Levante won. Valencia also losing to Sevilla. They've, uh, they've lost a couple of games now, Valencia. And uh, Villarreal, 4-2 winners. So we have a four-point lead. Again, a uh, brief spell over Atletico Madrid. Barcelona in third, Valencia fourth now, but they're nine points behind us. Look at the gap there is between uh, 15 points now between us and Real Betis. So it's going to be pretty much, you know, top four, uh, you would say, grinding it out for that. And bottom of the table, Vallecano pick up their second win. So we've had an offer for Militao from Celta Vigo. Yeah, well, those are silly transfers that aren't going to happen. All right, so obviously now we're taking on City. A draw very well could be enough against them, but we're also playing away from home, so that's not going to be easy. Uh, I don't know if we go for a 3-5-2 here or not. The only reason with that being a little bit of an issue is but because they're playing three up top, you know, you have to you have to remember we're not going to have the, the players getting back there with Hazard and Sun, but I don't know if we should maybe just give it a bash and see how it goes. I'm going to have to give Ziyech the captaincy today. We can't really play uh, Tony Crows is down. But yeah, I'll play around with it. I'm probably going to stick to this. I thought we played better in that game, but it could be a one-off. But, you know, we might as, well, might as well try it out. 
Okay, so I think we'll go for this, and uh, we'll see how we get on. Unfortunately, you know, there isn't a ton of players up for it. I mean, we do have Marcelo and Andrew Zola on blue. <sighs> you know, but if I'm going to play them, obviously I'd have to drop Hazard or Sun. Um, so do we want to do that or not? Now, looking at stamina, they're pretty similar. Obviously, Marcelo would be probably more back and forth. I don't know. I'm, I am kind of tempted now to maybe play Marcelo in that position because he would be good at tracking back. All right, let's play Marcelo today for that one. I'm obviously, I'm going to keep Hazard on the right. We're going to go for Junior and, and Diaz up top again. I mean, Junior was all right. Didn't do the most. We could play Sun instead of him, to be fair. I don't know. Actually, yeah, uh, I mean, is Sun a super sub? No, he's not. Okay. I thought if he was a superstar, I'd bring him on. All right, let's start Sun with Diaz. Let's try that. So we'll go for Casemiro, Ceballos, and Ziyech in the middle. Uh, Tony Crowe's, unfortunately, he's knackered. He's down. He needs a rest. We don't really have anyone else in the middle who's buzzing, buzzing. Um, so we'll leave it like that. So that's what we'll go for. It's not a bad lineup. We'll see how we get on. I'm not going to play super gun-ho. I think we, we certainly need to uh, take our time a little bit on the ball. And I think I'm playing more possession. And I'm playing counter-attacking still, because I play possession. Actually, I could play possession. Do I want to play counter-attack? I think I'll leave it. I was playing counter-attack and it was working out. So anyway, that's the team. That's the lineup. Let's dive into it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So we're live at the Etihad Stadium. The Champions League returns in the final game of the group stage. For Manchester City, they're already through. They can lose today by 18 goals to nil and still finish top of the group. But for Real Madrid, they'll need a minimum of a draw. It's a risky game to play. So, of course, they'll be going for all three points. So away we go. Real Madrid are attacking from your right to left today. And uh, Man City from left to right in that traditional blue. So they start this game off very feisty, very lively. What play by Sané that was! And a good save by the goalie to just tip it wide. But look how well Sané managed to keep this almost Messi-esque, just glued to his foot. And Navas did well. So Manchester City started off lively. Kevin De Bruyne is going to play the short one. And once again, Sané, the man, causing the problems. Three goals to one, but it was a slightly different opponent. We're taking on the, the current champions of Manchester City in England. They're starting this game off very quickly. Here's David Silva. Feeds it out wide. Sterling, well played Marcelo. He's back in the lineup today. Ceballos is coming across. Delivered in! And there's the goal. It hasn't taken long. And it's Raheem Sterling with a simple tap it. It was all too easy. Flooding players down the flank. Overlapping run. Drilled in. It missed everyone, didn't it? Set for Sterling. Damage have win it back. Ziek. Hazard. Man City, of course, know all about him. Lovely give and go. He's an influential player and he needs to play well today. He's done brilliantly. He's delivered it in. Oh, what a save that is off the line by Edison. Top quality stuff. That shows you what Real Madrid are capable of, though. Casemiro. Hazard. Getting a lot of the ball. He might as well keep doing what he does best. Fed off. Back to Marcelo. That could have crept in. Ziek towards Varan. Hazard. The challenge. Ceballos. Mariano. Generally, they want him in the box. Got to start again with Casemiro. Patient play. Now Eden Hazard picks it up. Skips past De Bruyne. How's the delivery? Took a big deflection. Hoofed clear. Here's Marcelo now. Casemiro. Back to Hazard. And he's found some space. And no one wants to close him down. It's a free shot in the end. 
Well, Ramage's first change, Ceballos off, and uh, Junior coming on. See, Real Madrid have actually had the uh, majority of possession. Still got to work it forward. Marcelo. Back on the left foot. Ziyech. Eden Hazard, who's now come in field a little bit more. Casemiro, it's all a little bit claustrophobic in there. Hazard! Oh, what a chance! Just got in behind the back line. Mendy. Back to company. David Silva. And now uh, Manchester City going all the way back to Bravo. Launches it forward. It's a good header to flick it on. And Real Madrid are just... Well, got a little bit fortunate there. Long clearance away to uh, Sun. Well, Hazard's playing through the middle. So we'll see what he can do. That's a great ball up the line, but it isn't because he's offside. Well, they only need one chance for Real Madrid. Junior. Hazard. Feeds it through. Lays it across. Oh, Marcelo. He had a chance. He didn't do enough with it. And a deflected opportunity. Goes out for the corner. Hazard to deliver. Got to be a good ball in. It's not bad at all. It's Marcelo. And it's in. Real Madrid may have the goal they needed. And it's Mariano Diaz. Right place, right time. But check out the cheeky little flick by Marcelo to create this chance. And what a save initially it was from Bravo. But Mariano in the right place at the right time to tap it in. There was a bit of confusion here. Audacity by Marcelo was brilliant. And it's 1-1. So one apiece with nine minutes left. Question is now, do Real Madrid go for another goal? Or do they hope and pray that a 1-1 would be enough? Unless Leon win by a lot of goals. But Man City, sadly, they come alive out of absolutely nothing. And David Silva's chance flashes wide of the post. Well, there's a nice bit of play, wasn't it? Couldn't do much about it. And that is not far away. And here's Junior. Nicely worked. Junior now. He's got the legs, you know. And he's poked this one through. And Mariano, he could win it. Oh, he's fluffed it completely. What an opportunity that is. Brilliant play by Junior. Almost like he ran out of legs and he, and he was just... Well, miss hit it. Well, Bravo will clear it away. And the referee blows for full time. And as you can see, it is enough. Real Madrid will advance into the round of 16. It wasn't pretty, but they got the job done. Thanks to Mariano. And that equaliser is a massive, massive goal for them. So there we have it. We didn't play too bad, to be fair. I mean, five attempts to six. We started off slow. We got better. Uh, and man of the match was Sterling. So elsewhere, well, it didn't matter either way because Copenhagen won 4-2 against Leon. Barcelona beat Porto. We'll have a look at all the uh, standings in just a second. Uh, but here we go. So we finished second. Copenhagen actually finished third. And Leon finished fourth. Uh, Manchester City in first, of course. So they'll finish top. We're second. In Group H, Monaco advanced top. Schalke uh, runners up there. Group A, it's PSG and Valencia. Liverpool, oh dear, what happened there? They're heading to Europa League. Uh, Group B, you got PSV and Benfica. Manchester United, horrendous. Only four points for them. Group C, Inter and Lokomotiv going through. Galatasaray, an upset there as well. Group D, Atletico Madrid and Juventus through. In Group E, you've got Barcelona and Porto. Group F, Ajax and Roma. And there we have it. So, I mean, there's not a ton of top quality teams that advance through, which gives us, you know, some confidence here to, to play well uh, and do well in the Champions League. So there we have it. You've been offered the manager's position at PSG. Well, that's very kind of you. Uh, we're not going to take it, though. Congratulations, you've reached the knockout phase. Yes, we have the draw... 
uh, will be held. And we have a derby match against Getafe coming up in the next episode. So I wonder if the draw has been done. Let's have a quick look. So yeah, here it is. You can see that we will be taking on Monaco. Okay, so, you know, could have been worse. We've got Valencia Inter, Benfica City, Locomotive PSG, Juventus Barcelona. There's a match for you. Porto Ajax, Roma, Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, Monaco, and Schalke, and PSV. So, yeah, I fancy my chances. Certainly do. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back. Let me know your thoughts on the old 3-5-2. Do you think we should continue giving it a shot, or... Uh, or not. I don't know. I'm not exactly not liking it. I think it, it works because you get a lot more players bombing forward. You just have to be wary and I need to be using the attacking and the defensive levels better uh, when you do lose possession to obviously get players back and then spring the attack. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Anyway, we're back shortly. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Till next time, take care.